Hi, my name is Alex, Victor Alpha 3 Alpha Sierra Echo, and this is my latest antenna project. I call this the Mini Array. I put this together using two handheld aero antennas, but what makes this setup special is that I have switchable polarity, meaning I can go from vertical to horizontal, left hand to right hand circular polarization. See, I have a much larger set of antennas, with higher gain but fixed horizontal polarity. I've used them a lot on satellite, with pretty good results. I've actually won some awards with them, but they do suffer badly from signal fading. My hypothesis with this setup is that these little antennas with switchable polarity will actually outperform my larger antennas with fixed polarity. I expect this will be the first video in a series of videos I do in this project. So in this video we're going to talk about the status of the project right now and the components that I've used and how I got to this stage. And in future parts, we'll get into the on-air testing and comparing it with my fixed antennas. So the heart of this project are these two Aero handheld antennas. These are satellite antennas that are commercially sold and they're made using aluminum Aero shafts. So I picked both of these up at a ham fest used for pretty cheap. And the nice thing about these is they're very lightweight and pretty well built. Now, I was planning to mount two of them like this in their normal configuration, but at some point I noticed that the element spacing is actually the same between the first and last elements. And the only difference is we have four additional holes for the 70 centimeter elements. So it's a pretty simple matter to just lay this out and drill some extra holes, and then that allowed me to move 70 centimeter onto one beam and two meter onto the other beam. And the big reason I wanted to do that was to clean up the phasing harness. Having them split like that on two sides of the cross boom was going to mean a lot of extra cables running back and forth and this way tidies up the wiring and just present, makes it present a lot nicer in general. Following the satellite experimenter's handbook, my original plan for this project was to build a set of phasing harnesses that would allow us to phase the two aero antennas together for circular polarization. But at some point I stumbled across these devices. So these are kits sold by a company called Mini Kits, and they're designed specifically for amateur radio satellites. And they use different lengths of tuned feed line and relays that let us switch between horizontal, vertical, left hand and right hand circular polarization. So you get to assemble these yourself, and I had a really good time putting them together. Now there are some small surface mount components here, so if that doesn't sound like a good idea to you, they also offer these fully assembled. I very carefully selected this piece of one and a quarter inch steel fence top rail to use as my horizontal cross boom. And by very carefully selected, I mean it was the only piece of pipe that I had that would fit through my Yezu rotor. Then using the pipe dimensions, I designed mounts to hold the antennas at a 45 degree angle. And I printed them on a 3D printer using a carbon fiber reinforced PETG plastic. The 3D printed mounts fit nicely into the ends of the steel cross boom and they clamp around the shape of our antenna booms. Using these clamps I was able to align both antennas very precisely with each other. I haven't used this mounting method before, I'm still kind of new to 3D printing, but so far I think this is going to work out really well. You may notice that I'm using a really nice set of SSB electronic preamps. These were given to me very generously by a friend. I've mounted these across the back of the elevation rotor because I think this is a nice place to transition from the horizontal motion around the elevation rotor to the vertical rotation on the azimuth. So it's just a matter of connecting our flexible cable coming from the switch into the going into the preamp, a set of cables from the switch to the antennas, and then some LMR 400 series cable from the preamps running down the tower to the shaft. So that brings us to today. Most of the assembly is completed on this setup. The main thing left to do now is get it mounted on some sort of test stand or tower and run control wiring to the switches. And at that point I'll be able to start on-air tests. There's been a lot of interest in this project from the community, which frankly caught me off guard, but it's been really exciting it's been exciting to me to have people interested in the same things that I'm interested in and discover people have the same passions that I have. 
So I plan to film a part two where we'll do the on-air tests and we can talk about comparing this against my bigger fixed antennas. So if you'd like to be notified about that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me or reach out to me on Twitter. Thanks so much for watching and best seven threes.